Hey everyone, welcome to Mindset Monday. This is Angela of Earrings by Angela, and I am here to get you started on a great work week. Um, and let's talk about some things. So our subject for today is that it doesn't matter where you came from. So many times, you know, people use the excuse of where they came from um, as an excuse not to move forward to where they want to go, okay? So actually, this this uh, topic is inspired by the quote, because I read a lot, you guys. <laughs> I do. I read a lot, and it makes me think. But it's inspired by the quote by Ella Fitzgerald. I love her. I love, love, love her. If you've never listened to her music, um, she's a an awesome, she was an awesome um, woman in jazz. So the quote says, it isn't where you came from, it's where you're going that counts. That's powerful, right? Right? Because a lot of times we may look at our, air quote, fail, failures and think, I can't do that. You know, I didn't raise up in a wealthy home we always had money we always you know scrambled for money this is these are the examples i'm giving you know um i came from the the hood we had nothing i had to fight this i had to fight that or you know i don't have the right education um i didn't graduate high school or heck i didn't make it to high school I don't have a diploma, you know, I can't achieve these things. And those are so many of the lies that we tell ourselves because I shouldn't say the lie. Well, they are lies because that's not your truth. You can speak anything that you want. And, and you know, if you missed the uh, episode of Soulicious Sunday uh, concerning that, uh, that you have the power to have anything you want, then go back and watch that video. That's powerful too. But we we need to change our belief system, right? That it doesn't matter where you come from. It's where do you want to go? What do you see yourself doing? What is it that you've always wanted to do, but you let one of these limiting beliefs stop you from doing it because that's what's that's what's really going on let's call a spade a spade you know what i'm saying what's really going on is you're living in the past and you're stopping what can progress in your future because you have the belief that it's it's not going to happen that it can't happen because of x y and z i love that x y and z thing it's my second time using it <laughs> but okay sorry you guys but seriously so let's take the example of Tyler Perry. I mean, it, 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 pretty much the world knows his story, but just in case you don't know the story, I'm going to catch you up a little bit. Um, Tyler wanted to be a film director. He wanted to he wanted to create plays, I should say, you know, and so he started writing in his journal after watching you know oprah's segment she used to have a what was that segment on her show it was at the end but something about the soul i don't remember what it was now that was years ago but it was through the journaling process that he was able to share his voice and so on a particular time when he was journaling someone found his journal and read it and they thought that he was writing a book because he had changed the names and everything. And so fast forward, that inspired him to really work towards creating plays and, and working on that. And it seemed like the every play that he produced, guess what? There was no audience for it. Like people were not coming out and supporting like he thought that they would. And so you know, he, he became homeless because he put all of his resources into this dream. And so let's stop for a moment. What could have happened was he could have let those failures define him. But I want to tell you something about failure. Failure 
is really a stepping stone for success. It's a tool that is used to teach us a lesson. And in that lesson, we grow and we become stronger if we don't quit, if we continue. And we talk about it's okay to rest, but you can't quit. That's another video you want to check out. Um, go back to the videos and, and find that one, or I'll put the link below it. But the point is that people look at failure as an embarrassment. Actually, it's like I stated, it's a stepping stone. It's a lesson that we have to, to learn. It's a test from the universe saying, I want to see how serious you are about this, this dream that you have, because I told you that you have it. You have this calling. But I want to see how much you believe me. So now I got to test you. Now, if you pass the test, I'm going to unleash the next step. But if you fail it, you got to go back and learn this lesson again because you're not ready. Woo! That's kind of powerful, y'all. That's, that's really powerful. You know, but one of those steps is, is not dwelling on the past. It's, how do we learn from that and move forward to get to our level of greatness that has already been predestined for us, right? Because I'm sure that you've heard that everything you need is already inside of you. That's not a myth. That is truth. That is truth. You already have everything that you need in order to succeed. So let's continue with Tyler's story. He didn't give up. And we see now that he had a a dream he had a passion for his dream he believed that his message is his purpose and you know what i've learned a lot from his messages too so let's just keep it all the way real so he's helping people you know what i'm saying um but his perseverance is is what we look at you know, when he becomes an example of success, he kept going. Although you are tempted to quit, you keep going. And you don't use the excuse of, I didn't have this growing up. This is how I was raised growing up. Because when you know better, you do better. Thank you, Dr. Phil, for that one. <laughs> when you know better, you do better, right? And if you Stay in your excuses. We can also use the other Dr. Phil line. And how is that working for you? Because I, I would always ask myself that. And how is that working for you? And if it wasn't, then it needs to be changed. But don't let it stop you from getting to where you're going. Right? Stay focused on the goal. And you will get there as long as you don't quit so my thing is i'm going to ask you this question what is your goal what do you, what is it that you see yourself doing what do you have a drive for what do you have a passion for write that down and write it without limitations don't when you write your goal don't think about what anybody else has to say about it just be with your true authentic self and ask, what do I want? And what's the first step in getting it? So write your goal down. But don't just write it down and walk away. <laughs> write your goal down. Look at it when you wake up in the morning and before you go to bed at night. Always be thinking about your goal. And then think of the one step that you can take to make that goal happen now there are many steps there's more than one but we're going to focus on the first one and guess what when that one is completed check it off put a smiley face by it celebrate yourself as you completed that one and get ready to take the next step celebrate each and every step and before you know it you've taken so many steps that you've achieved it. And that's when the huge celebration comes. Now that goes for small goals 
and large goals as well. You know, I'll give you an example. Um, if my goal is to have more time with my family, what do I need to change? Right? And that'll be my first step. And once I be like, you know what? I I I spent I did this with my family. I did that. That was more time. I celebrated that. Now let's go to the next step. You know? Um, I want to start a business. So what's the first thing you're going to do? <laughs> Let me tell you what the first thing you're going to do. You're going to write down what kind of business you want. So what, what can I help others with? What can I teach them? What can I share? What do I have to offer? You're going to write down an idea. And the first step you should do is whatever business you want to run, start researching and, and watching and studying the people who's, who have already done it so that you can get ideas. That's the first thing, okay? So I've given you that example, and now do it. <laughs> Don't just listen to it, do it. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> so that is our Mindset Monday topic. Um, remember that it doesn't matter where you came from. All that matters is where you're going. Where are you going? Where do you see yourself going? What do you want to happen? And then go out there and make it happen. It's easier than you think. But the start of all of that is changing your mindset. And so I thank you for joining us for Mindset Mondays. I hope your week goes fabulous. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the no notification button so that you never miss an episode because we got a lot to talk about and you definitely don't want to be out of the conversation. Make sure you share this video, like it, talk about it with your friends. Hey, you know, share some nuggets in the comment section with us. We're family, y'all. Real talk, we're family. I mean, at this point, You've been with me with so many episodes, and, and you're going to subscribe to the channel. And we're family, so let's talk. Okay, so I'll talk to you next week for Mindset Monday. And again, have a fabulous week.